history was the only subject I was any good at at school. Um, I was okay at geography, okay at English, but I seemed to have a knack of remembering names and dates, um, which was useful and uh, perhaps affected the sort of historian I became. I'm, I'm a chronological determinist. I really believe it's very important to know, uh, as, as the famous saying was, who, who knew what and when did he or she know it. And I followed that uh, through at school, got myself to university, and there I came across uh, a number of uh, very gifted instructors. The first was J.H. Plum, who was the history tutor at my college, Christ, and uh, basically tore me to pieces uh, and then put me back together again and tried to teach me how to write better. And uh, the beginning of Spanish history was when I uh, entered my last year. Uh, in Cambridge, the uh, history course is divided in two. Uh, there's a, a part one, which is um, seven papers. Uh, everything was determined by a single a, a week of exams. And if you passed that one, you went on to part two, which had to be different subjects. And this different subject included, these different subjects included the history of Europe between 1494 and 1715. And the lecturer was a, a young um, faculty member called Dr. J. H. Eliot. And he started off with the wars of religion. Uh, and clearly some of it was boring to him, but he did a great job. And then he came on to the Dutch Revolt and he became enthused, he became uh, animated, he produced a map which was cutting edge audiovisual technology in 1964 and he said, what we don't know is how Spain managed to send all the troops and all the treasure to the Netherlands for 80 years. They don't win the war but they keep on fighting. How was that done? So I tracked him back to his office and I said, well Dr. Elliot, um, interested by that lecture. Uh, is there perhaps some reading on it? Yes, yes, he said, yes. yes. Um, uh, he gave me a couple of books and they said, but the one you really need to uh, read is a book by Lucien Favre called Philip II and Franche Comte. Off I went proud and happy to the University Library uh, to find that Elliot had um, not mentioned two aspects of Favre's book. Number one, it was 800 pages. Number two, it was in French. It was Philippe de et Franche Comte. But by golly, the last chapter was all about the uh, logistics of how Spain got troops and treasure to the Netherlands. And I thought to myself, you know, if there's more stuff like that, that would make a PhD thesis. So I went back to Elliot. I'm sure he was stunned to see me again. He probably thought this recommendation meant I would never ever darken his doorway. So I went back and said, well, do you think this could make a PhD? And he said, mm, well, maybe. And, uh, well, would you direct it? Okay, if you get a first in finals, I'll, uh, I'll take it. So this one week of critical exams. In fact, I did do quite well. And uh, Elliot uh, was then stuck with me. And for the next three years, he taught me how to do research, how to do research in Spain, how to ask the big questions, how to uh, survive in archives. And after three years, uh, six of us, Elliot had six graduate students who joined him in 1965, and we all defended in 1968, which has to be some sort of record. And then I turned uh, that into a book which was called The Army of Flanders and the Spanish Road. Essentially, how Spain failed to put down the Dutch Revolt. 